Hi, welcome to the JE Plugins channel, where we discuss audio signal processing and apply methods to generate audio FX plugins. This is the first episode on the channel, and the channel is currently in its infancy, therefore please leave any feedback in the comments below and suggestions for future content. This episode will discuss nonlinear distortion. So, what is distortion? Distortion is the alteration of the original form of a signal representing an image, a sound, a waveform, or other information. However, in the context of nonlinear distortion we are typically using distortion to generate frequency content in the output of the signal that is not present in the input signal. Algorithms we use to generate these harmonics are known as clipping functions, as they clip the signal beyond a certain level. The most basic distortion algorithm is the hard clipper. This is a piecewise function that will limit the bounds of the upper and lower parts of the output signal. The function generates harsh odd order harmonics. The bounds of the function is adjustable by setting a threshold value, which can be done by changing the value of 1 and minus 1 in the function below. The signal will be clamped to the threshold value in the positive and negative parts of the signal. The effect can also be generated naturally by exceeding the maximum dynamic range of a digital system. We can use soft clipping functions to generate softer distortion that is more characteristic of analog devices, which saturate progressively. These functions are known as sigmoid functions. The first one we will discuss is the piecewise soft clipper. This can be thought of as a soft clipping version of our original function. The threshold in this function is not adjustable. However, the amount of harmonics in the output can be altered by scaling the signal before processing. Certain trigonometric functions have a sigmoid shape and can be used to generate nonlinear distortion. Common examples include tan h, arc tan and the error function. The functions we have discussed so far have all clipped the signal symmetrically, however some analog systems, such as triodes, do not do this. As a result we need to process the positive and negative parts of the signal independently, in order to appropriately replicate the effect. By adjusting our hard clipping function to have a separate positive and negative threshold value, we generate different levels of clipping in the top and bottom parts of the output signal. This results in a signal that has additional even harmonics as well as the existing odd harmonics. Asymmetrical clipping can also be done using soft clipping functions. Unique distortion effects can be created by completely adjusting the clipping used in both poles of the signal. The below example shows tan H clipping which is only applied to the positive part of the signal. Now for some examples of implementing distortion in MATLAB. If you do not have MATLAB, you will be able to follow along using Octave, although you may need additional packages for certain functions. First, we generate a one second sine wave. We are using a sampling frequency of 48 kHz and a base frequency of 1 kHz. We use this equation to generate our sine wave and plot it against our generated time vector. Moving on to our hard clipper, we can see in this example we are using a threshold of 0.5 and pass both the threshold and signal to the hard clipping function. If we go to the function we see that it limits the positive part of the signal from going above 0.5 and the negative part of the signal from going below minus 0.5 using if-else statements. This results in a sine wave that is essentially chopped above the threshold values and more square in shape. In the first soft clipping example we are simply using the tan h function in MATLAB to generate our non-linearity. Plotting this, we see that we are still clipping the function, however there is a curve to the clipping that is not present with the hard clipper. This results in a much less harsh distortion. We can also apply a saturation coefficient to tan h distortion by multiplying the input of the tan h function and dividing that whole expression by tan h of the saturation coefficient. The division normalizes the signal and ensures that the output never goes above 1, which is desirable in digital systems. Increasing the saturation coefficient increases the amount of harmonics generated by the clipper and the steepness of the clipping curve. Plotting our piecewise soft clipper reveals a similar story to the tan h function. However, the clipping is less rounded. This is because there is a hard limit to the function. The clipping curves as the input approaches 1 but once 1 is reached the output can never be more than 2 thirds. The final example that will be demonstrated is the asymmetrical hard clip. In this example we are using a positive threshold of 0.5 and a negative threshold of 0.8. Plotting this we can see the positive half of the signal is exactly the same as the first clipping example, but the negative half of the signal is clipped less. 
we can use the MATLAB function THD to plot the harmonics of both the symmetrical and asymmetrical clipping functions and we can see on the top there is only odd harmonics and on the bottom we have both odd and even harmonics. Thank you for watching. I hope you have found this video useful and have a better understanding of distortion effects. Stay tuned for episode 2 where we will discuss digital filters, and episode 3 where we will use the topics covered in episodes 1 and 2 to create a tube screamer effect in Juice. If you are interested in this kind of content, please consider liking and subscribing. Until next time.